Okay, today we're going to talk about black holes and that they are not black holes, holes in space. They are carbon covered stars. So we're going to start off with uh, Einstein's idea. He had a great idea. Unfortunately, it had nothing to do with black holes. It had to do with the passage of energy. Now, my views are documented on all my other videos that I believe that uh, energy passes from voltage 1 to voltage 2 in a funnel or a lightning strike and that we are suffering from a voltage drop across the universe. So this was Einstein's idea that uh, the weight of an object causes a bend in space. Now you've got the sun, white dwarf, neutron star and a black hole. Now this is my exact representation of how energy travels in a torus and when there's an overloading of voltage 2 it goes directly to voltage 1 in the uh, in in the description of the pictures you see above you see Einstein saw this inside a black hole this is how energy travels it's not a portal though because matter forms in the way this is how all energy is moved this is how all stars operate this is how all electromagnetic fields operate. So what he actually was looking at was this. So all Einstein actually saw was how energy moves. No rifts in space, this is just the space the star occupies and this is how the energy inside it moves. So now that we've got that out of the way, that what Einstein discovered was actually just voltage 1 to voltage 2 continuously, um, we're going to go into what the universe really looks like with electromagnetism because this is how energy passes in bubbles. So this is what an electromagnetic universe looks like if you could see it. Electromagnetic bubbles take on any shape in nature and throughout the universe. On a soap bubble energy travels from voltage 1 to voltage 2 as you can see here. Interactions and functions on the skin of a bubble form shapes like these again fractal in nature and this is what the bubbles of electromagnetism look like on earth uh, this is why rainbows are round and all that kind of thing so now we come to the battery powered universe all stars are giving out energy they're receiving energy from the galactic circuit and the universal voltage and uh, they send it out as electromagnetic waves to everywhere else um, batteries have carbon inside them. Why? Because it's fantastic for holding a charge. So, going back to my voltage drop across the universe, if there was one massive voltage drop at the beginning of time, all these stars would have collapsed. And I believe that all the hydrocarbons in them would then form a carbon shell. Because Einstein says that anything gets near a black hole falls straight into it, and yet we can see from uh, uh, radio telescopes that suns actually orbit black holes. We also hear that there are more and more black holes showing up all the time, which again goes with my voltage drop across the universe. These stars are collapsing, they are still receiving current, so they are still giving out energy. We just can't see it because of a voltage collapse early on in the universe. These are now black stars covered in carbon. The only proof is that there should only be one black hole, or there should be maybe two black holes but in a different position. But now we're seeing double spinning black holes and all kind of garbage that doesn't make any logical scientific sense compared to what we're supposed to believe and now all the contradictions. So, I say they are carbon covered stars and they're all collapsing in series. So, uh, I picked up a video on the net of a pile of batteries with constant current and what happens to the batteries in series one after another. Which I say is that all the lights are popping in the universe till eventually even though the current is dropping the matter in the universe is being used up quicker. So the voltage is actually staying relatively the same. Unfortunately if you put things in series and overload them they go pop. I see this is seven duo cells. Here we go, the universe turned on.
first cell I'm gone. The city, I'm here. Sun's popping everywhere. Plenty of matter sent Boy. out into the universe. Good fireworks. Cell 34 is all over the place. So cell 1 is still functioning and passing oh, energy, oh, 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 but it's already burnt out. Along with 2 and 3, all just cell now... Cell fantastic. The best batteries. Carbon. Still in business. 11 amps, 14 amps, 5... No more light given out. So Probably due box, to the rearranging of the energy. Like firecracker. Now we see more surges. Twelve and pair. Epic. More surges. Sixty. Power of direct current is just amazing. So the universe is still burning. Half of it gone at least. So basically, it'll sputter out. And that's the end of the universe. Well, that's the end of a lot of stars. There was a DC burnout, and this will happen when batteries are overcharged or batteries which are not designed to be charged. Like suns. I'll let the camera wall have a quick one of the monoblocks I've strapped out. Monoblock number six died, so I've stepped that out for now. So as you just heard, part of the power input died. So there's your voltage drop, and there's your carbon-covered stars. That's why Einstein is wrong, and that's why black holes are not black holes. This universe is suffering from a universal voltage drop, and black holes are carbon-covered stars because they are burning out and collapsing. Then the energy is rearranging itself, causing a surge and blowing out more. Which is the basis of all my videos. Voltage 2 to voltage 1. Draining all the time. My name is Lee and I'm an engineer.